What's up guys, Trilogy here. Today we're gonna to be doing another album review. This one's gonna be for Mac Miller. It's gonna be the first posthumous album, I believe, since he's died. Um, it's called Faces. It was released October of 2021. And this is a long album. It is 25 songs. And I like long albums. Like a lot of people will say they don't like long, album, long albums because there's no theme to it. There's definitely a theme to this album. Um, it takes a little bit for me to get into it. About the first 10 songs, I really didn't like too many of them. I liked Angel Dust. And then once we got to Happy Birthday on the album, there was Happy Birthday, Wedding, Funeral. Those songs went hard. And I was like, this album is not hitting. I was like 10 songs in. I was like, I'm about to stop listening to this album. Because honestly, I'm not the biggest Mac Miller fan. I listened to a couple of his albums. And honestly, I was just getting into his music right before he died. So... I'm not an old fan, to, I'm not gonna lie about it at all. Um, the album, the Swimming album, I think it was called, um, the one with Self Care, I listened to that album when it came out and it was all right, um, but I didn't really start listening to his older stuff until after he died. Um, and my favorite album is The Divine Feminine. That album is amazing. I love that album. And that's what's really driving me to listen to this album, Faces. I saw that it had released on Spotify this morning. I was like, all right, let's check it out. I listened to it. And I think this is a pretty decent album. I wouldn't say it's legendary. There aren't a lot of, I mean, there's some bangers on it. There's some bangers. It has some, it'll have some replay value. Mind you, this is just a first listen review. I listened to it once and now I'm making this video. Um, but I liked Angel Dust, Happy Birthday, Wedding, Funeral, Diablo, Ave Maria, 55, which is just like this this short minute musical interlude type thing. But I thought it was pretty good. I always liked those things. San Francisco was really good. And I am taking a trip to San Francisco. So I'm like, is this a to-do list for my San Francisco trip? I hope not, because he was talking about doing acid. And I'm like, acid? No. No, but anyways, this is still pretty good. And then we have Yeah, which is a nice little teaser. One thing that's interesting about this album and the Mac Miller estate, obviously, I don't know if they do this on purpose, but he talks about dying a lot in these songs. And it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just, I don't know if it rubs me the wrong way or if it's ironic, but he talks about dying from drugs and I think that's how he died. So I just think that's kind of weird. It's always weird when a rapper says they'll probably die from overdosing and then they die from overdosing. It's like, well, you knew this might have been a problem, so like, I hope this is okay with you because you knew. But then again, addiction is weird. I mean, we just because we know that we have a problem doesn't mean that we're in a position to fix it. Recognizing the problem is just the first step, and a lot of people don't make it past that first step. Overall, I really like the art for this album. It seems kind of like an abstract album cover, like art, and Mac Miller always has like an artsy vibe. His music is very unique, and this is going to be definitely more Mac Miller. I wouldn't say it brings anything revolutionary or anything new to his sound, which, to be fair, this is probably all very old music. Maybe not very old, but it's old music, you know? Um, I don't think they're using his his voice tones to make new music with the lyrics that he has in a notebook. All of this sounds kind of dated, um, and that's not bad. I mean, Mac Miller has a specific sound, and I can't think of anyone else who sounds like Mac Miller. Mac Miller is his sound. And as far as that goes, if you haven't heard Faces and you like rap or maybe like the rap with like an R&B sound or something unique compared to a lot of the other rap sounds that we hear nowadays, I definitely recommend you check out Faces. It dropped today on all streaming services. Um, sounds like a sponsor, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. This is just a short video for you guys as far as the review goes. I really liked Faces. Um, as far as standouts, I liked Wedding and Funeral. Reading and Funerals, those are probably my favorite songs off of the album. Like I said, this is just a first listen, um, but those songs were really good. The album really kicked into driving for me at that point in the album, which was about a little less than halfway through. 25 songs is a lot, and I liked 9 out of 25, which isn't a very good fraction. That's like a 33% like rate, but 9 songs is pretty good. If it had been released as just those 9 songs, sheesh, this would have been a fire album. But there was... It, for me, since I didn't like it, I would say there was some filler added to this album to make it longer as far as that goes. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for guys for watching. If you want to see more music reviews, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment down below what your thoughts are on Mac Miller. And go ahead and tell me what's your favorite song off this album or what's your favorite Mac Miller album. Maybe there's something I should re-listen to. I'll catch you guys next time. Trilogy out. Peace.